Varum, this is Azad, one of Ardashir's men. Long dead, judging by the rot. How is that possible? They left not long before us. We are not welcome here. Stay on your guard. We will find the Prince and Anahita. We go east. We don't go anywhere. You'll only slow me down. You're on your own. Combat feels really nice. Dancer, land a fifth attack at the end of the extended combo. Dodge on the spot using W and shift against incoming attacks, dealing moderate damage by moving behind the enemy. Fire five arrows along a broad sweep. The power of each arrow is barely reduced. Trigger area damage of the chakra is positioned by pressing the left mouse click. Convert a small amount of damage taken into Athra buildup. Moderately increase all melee attacks damage in the air. Restore health after successful parry. Hmm. Ah, okay, that's cool. The point system. Alright. What are you doing here? This pl Don't worry about me. Hmm? I know the Citadel better than anyone. I know every step. 
I even go where others can't. I've chatted and argued with every creature, and I know every tree here. Like this one? Are they all like this? These trees are special. They're called Wakwak. They have the purest of Athra. So, stand beneath its leaves to restore your energy. There are many Wakwak trees throughout Mount Kaf. Tell me, you say you know all here. We're in search of soldiers like us. Our prince is being led by an... a general. Have you seen anyone like that? A prince? There hasn't been a prince here in so long. I've only seen you. Well, if you've lost your friend in Mount Kaf, then you're going to need an Eye of the Wanderer. What's that? It's a very rare, very ancient thing. Here, for you. New item acquired, Eye of the Wanderer. This magic glass eye gives its bearer the ability to map all Mount Olaf. Go on. Try it. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Can add waypoints, explore. Here! I might as well show you a neat trick to remember places on Mount Kaf. Another one, memory shards. Increase the number of memory shards. Don't forget to capture images of your surroundings regularly to add them to the map and come back to them later. Oh, that's cool. Mount Kaf is full of unreachable passages and treasures, which you can access once you've found new abilities. It's important to memorize all these places. Use memory shards to capture an image of the environment, which will automatically be saved on your map. Don't forget to capture images of your surroundings regularly to add them to the map and come back to them later. That is awesome. Oop, don't delete. No, no, no. Thank you, miss. I don't know your name. My name is Faraba. I'm Sargon. Warrior of the Immortals. Oh, doesn't that sound impressive? Well, Sargon, I'm sure we'll meet again in Mount Kaf. I'll share my discoveries with you when I can, but I'll need time crystals to do it. Time crystals? <laughs> Welcome to Mount Kaf. Dude, this is awesome. Can't get up there yet, so. Let us keep progressing. Okay, bro. Damn, <laughs> that is ruthless. There. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, oh god, okay. Jeez. <laughs>
Okay, can I go that way? Oh, there's another one. Is there anything this way? Arrows. Get rid of you first. City. Probably nothing. This is only the demo, so a lot of things will be blocked off. It is a dangerous place. something out of reach, beyond control. Who do you serve, I wonder? You know about me. I turn my eye to the human world when I choose. I'm Sargon. I serve Persia as one of the Immortals. Immortals, you say? Hmm. Interesting. Well, Immortal. You stand before a true immortal, Kahiva, goddess and blacksmith to the gods. I forged their greatest weapons. Have you forged weapons for mortals? I've served mortals from time to time. King Darius's sword was some of my finest work. Few other mortals are worthy. I had no idea that in Mount Calf, gods and goddesses walked among humans. It was so. The curse altered everything. Some gods disappeared into other strands of destiny. But I remain. I'm one of the lucky ones. My forge protected me from the winds of time. Either way, Nothing feels the same now. Would you forge for a mortal again? For a few time crystals? We might come to an agreement. Understand this. Even in the skewed reach of time, a mortal's life is insignificant. Interesting. So you can get quests and stuff. Things forged. Welcome. Do you wish something forged? I don't think I have anything. Or enough. Collect time crystal from a distance, that could be helpful. Slightly decrease pair of incoming melee attacks. Increase damage of arrows. So this could be helpful, let's just go with this for now. you here, Traveller? My allies and I are in pursuit of a traitor. Then you and the others are trapped here too. 
Mount Calf has seen its share of travellers. Many are lost within the web of time's curse. Beware, warrior. Death and misery roam the citadel. I've seen my share of death. Even the most determined of warriors must be prepared. Take this. Its unique properties will aid you. Just know that each one is precious and can only be changed as a whack whack tree. I'll make good use of this. New amulet. Blessing. Slightly increased max health. The additional health boost can only be regenerated at whack whack trees. Nice. There's one right here. How, uh, how convenient. Alright, let's add... Collect the time crystals. Blessing. Don't really need it at the moment. Wow, okay, bud. Jeez, kick my ass. Jump for that, damn it. Alright, well. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> Didn't either. Well, that, that did. Bloody booby traps everywhere. Well, shit. <laughs> My days, what is this place?
Jahanda. Apply Jahanda resides for eternity, with the body of a lion, the face of a human, and the tail of a scorpion. Jahanda has always devoured men. Those who ventured in the Hurricanian forest and crossed his path would disappear forever. To satisfy his appetite, Jahanda once walked through the gates of the citadel, spreading terror for three days. 500 warriors was tasked to confront him. None survived. Darius was still a young kid. Armed with the royal sword that Kahiva had forged for him, he set out to challenge Jahanda. A hundred times he managed to avoid his poison stingers. A hundred times he counted his charges. Darius called on Atash, the sacred fire. Jahanda had never encountered such resistance from a mortal. He was defeated. Darius spared his life, but locked him up in the upper citadel. Thus began the legend of Darius, king of kings, whose wisdom and courage would make Persia shine through the known world. Interesting. What is making all that ruckus? Damn. That was probably going to be a boss, but unfortunately the demo ends there. Thanks for playing the demo. It was just a glimpse of the epic adventure that awaits you. Will you rescue Prince Ghassan and solve the mystery of Mount Cuff? Maybe I might. Well there you have it, the demo for Prince of Persia The Lost Crown. This game looks like it's going to be awesome, man. The graphics and art style look awesome. It runs so smooth. The combat feels awesome. Not too punishing, but also not a cakewalk. The game comes out in a couple days, so I hope you enjoyed it. I'll definitely be doing a playthrough of it because I feel like it's going to be an amazing game with a great story. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. As always, I appreciate the support. Thanks for watching and I'll catch us in the next one.